I think some people are really talented in math. Some people are really talented in creativity. I think hard work is also talent. And I jokingly tell people that I'm not as smart or, or tall or pretty as you, but I can outwork you. I grew up in South Korea with my tiger mom and a romantic dad. When I was 18 years old, my parents decided to move to America. I went to the only school that would accept me without SAT and had my daughter when I was in college and became a single mom. So I dropped out of college. All I wanted was to provide enough for my daughter. So I got several different jobs, actually, to make sure I make ends meet. We used to go to donut shop together, and my daughter sees a dozen donuts for sale. And I said, no, you're going to get one, and I'm going to get one. And um, she looked at me and said, why? And I kind of told her pretty painfully, because I don't have enough money. And then one day, my dad and I were reading a newspaper and saw computers coming into the fashion industry. So I made a cold call to that computer company and told them, you know, there's a lot of people in the fashion industry from Korean community, and they don't know how to use computers, and they will be your best customers. Um, they donated software to me. I found a garage space in Koreatown, killed all the cockroaches in, in, in the garage space, and started teaching people with the computer software that they gave me. That was the humble beginning of California Design College. I worked 18 hours a day, seven days a week. I didn't see myself as 20-something female entrepreneur. I saw me as a young, scared, insecure girl who had a child who I had to provide. Eventually, it became one of the number four fashion colleges in California. One day, I got a phone call from a guy who was kind of like a legend in a private college sector, and he offered me um, more money than I ever possibly could imagine. When I became a single mom in college, my goal was to buy a dozen donuts for my daughter. Ten years later, I sold my company for a good, comfortable eight figures. And I came home and told that to my parents, and my mom said, you need to go back to school. And I said, Mom, I'm in Fortune magazine. And my mom looked at me and says, that does not give you a college degree. And I said, OK, I need to go back to school. I applied to USC MBA program, and they said they made one exception for a person without a college degree. So because USC took a chance on me, that door opened my entire academic career. I loved school so much. I told my professor, I had so much fun, I don't want to graduate. And he goes, oh, why don't you go and get your PhD? And I thought to myself, it's such a great idea. And I applied to the joint degree program at Wharton and Graduate School of Education. When I was at Wharton, I saw great possibilities about how we can make American education system better. I looked at after-school programs on inner city and became a chairman of After School All-Stars Los Angeles. I wanted to close the gap between traditional classrooms and 21st century workplace. And I told my CFO, we have to buy a college. I didn't know a lot about Fremont College, but one thing I knew is I wanted this to be the laboratory of my doctorate program because I saw America as one of the best countries in the world that gives opportunities to anyone who's interested in excelling and want to do the hard work. Private colleges has that freedom and agility that capitalism actually offers, and innovation is here in education right now. 
My next phase is being able to teach million people. If a single mom who couldn't speak a word of English, who didn't know anybody, could become a philanthropist, an entrepreneur, why couldn't you?